Hello everybody, Lance Goyke here. Today I want to do a quick one on the bent over reverse fly. So we're generally using this as a rear delt exercise, so like the posterior shoulder, the back side of your shoulder, if you're trying to get that, that you know, broad look that you get from upper back training and from shoulder training, then this is a good variation for you. This is my favorite uh, posterior shoulder and upper back isolation exercise. I'm going to do a lot more rows. I'm going to do a lot more pull-ups than, you know, this exercise specifically, but this is a good one to do after those to really hammer home that fatigue. So basically, if you're going to do this, I want to make sure you do a pretty good RDL. So, you know, if, if you can just bounce into it, then good. If you can't, watch my other videos. We'll talk about tucking the hips. We'll talk about feeling a little bit of abs, and then we'll talk about pulling your shoulder blades back. That, those are kind of the two major points that I want to talk about here today. If I can feel my abs securing me, then I can be much more sure that I'm getting my upper back muscles to drive the fly movement rather than uh, driving that fly movement just from the, uh, the posterior shoulder, which generally if I'm only getting the back side of the shoulder and I'm not getting the upper back, then I'm just creating more shoulder dysfunction. It's, it's maybe the wrong exercise for me to be trying. So instead, I want to keep that... <sighs> can't do it when I have a lot of air in me. <laughs> I want to secure the abs and then I want to squeeze back this way. Now, bent arms, straight arms, doesn't really matter to me. You're going to get a lot more out of your weight if your arms are totally straight. That rhymed. Unintentional. Uh, but if you want to do a couple of reps where you're kind of using a little bit of body English, you can keep your elbows bent. And, you know, ultimately, the purpose of this exercise is just to fatigue your muscles. So if you get more fatigue with the arms bent or your shoulder doesn't hurt as much with your arms bent, then do it that way. It's totally fine. That is the bent over reverse fly.